Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems, and it's my pleasure to walk you through what is Creative Suite 6 Design Standard. I get this question a lot. Well, what's the difference between Photoshop or Illustrator, especially if these folks are new to our applications or they're just coming up in the design world? So Photoshop, for example, is the industry standard photo manipulation tool. Think of working with pixels, the kind of images that come from your digital camera. Illustrator for vector illustrations, people that draw, normally with mathematical lines and curves, things that are resolution independent. And lastly, InDesign for putting it all together on a printed page or for digital output. Let's take a look. I have a photo here with some objects in it that I would like to remove, and Photoshop is great for that type of task. So for example, using my patch tool, I can go ahead and make a selection around what looks to be a wall outlet here. And I'm just going to go ahead and select it and drag it to another area of the photo that doesn't have the outlet. And as you can see, like magic, Photoshop removes it and blends it in. Now I'll switch over to the Spot Healing tool. And I have some spots here on the wall. I'm sure they were naturally there on the concrete, but they're distracting in my photo. So I can just simply paint over those and Photoshop will blend those in nicely and remove them for me, even the ones that were close to our arm. So as you can see, Photoshop is really about manipulating pixels. You can get all the way into the pixel level to remove or adjust pixels in a photograph. Now, if that's Photoshop, then what's Illustrator? That's the question people usually ask. Well, let's head over to Illustrator. And in Illustrator, it's all about vector illustration, drawing with mathematical lines and curves. So in Illustrator, it's all about vector illustration, creating objects with mathematical lines and curves. So for example, you can take something like the pen tool and you can trace or draw around objects and create vector resolution independent graphics. Whereas a photograph has a distinct resolution and it can't really be larger than its original size, vector illustrations can be scaled to any size and maintain their quality. So for example, I have an illustration here that was nicely drawn. And what I'm going to do is just simply increase the stroke weight, the size of the lines. Let's go to about 10 points there. We'll now switch over to the gradient tool. And with the gradient tool selected and the object selected, we'll just tell it that it has a linear gradient. Now you'll notice it's going from white to black and it's kind of doing this new Illustrator uh, CS6 thing where it actually gives me a gradient stroke all the way around it. I can even apply a variable width pattern to that so that I get variable width gradient strokes. And of course, I can